Hey everybody, this is Herschel Froome from High School Top 200, back for 2017, and um, I'm really excited about this year, I'm excited about uh, the new prospects that we have uh, coming out this year, also I'm real excited about um, just the new um, the new structure of teams that we'll have, and the new players, and all the new kids coming through, and uh, the year, year 11 class is going to be real strong. Uh, real excited about that and seeing the the progress of all the year 11s coming into first 15 for their first years and things like that. Um, I'm really excited to see how um, the kids, uh, well the boys that I saw from last year in the year 12s and year 11s, how they've worked over the summer. And so like that's one thing I'll be uh, pretty excited to see and, and, and what progress they've made in terms of just... Um, the whole physical structure and the way that they've learnt the game and things like that and prepared for this year. So um, there's there's a lot of things that I've, I've been looking at um, over the holidays and um, over the summer and then seeing, um, seeing what guys that I think will make it make it through and, and seeing what guys I think who have uh, worked really hard over the summer and just seeing what they're going to be like when they come back. So... Um, that's one thing I, ca I can't wait to, to get into this year and start going to games again and start uh, scouting and watching games and watching film. Thank you everyone that's been sending in film um, throughout the last few years. It's really helped a lot with uh, me being able to see as much players as possible. Um, uh, also, um, thank you to everyone that supported us, um, um, supported what I'm doing and um, we have seen so many guys go through to um, the Super 15 teams uh, who have come through uh, high school top 200 as well, and it's it's. I mean, I just like I like seeing the guys and and what they've done to progress from when they were in high school. I I think that's something real cool. Um, but we're gonna get through some of these questions. Um, I asked if you if anyone had questions that uh, uh, that they had uh, sort of with this up and coming year and and things that they've been thinking about so um i'm going to get through one of them at a time um i make actually i'll make different videos for for different questions just so that you can yeah you can watch the the question that you you're most interested in uh this one is why do league scouts pick kids at 15 years old and what do they see that rugby don't see now this is like an interesting question. Like it's it's not, and this is something that I've learned uh, while I've been doing this, and something that I picked up by talking to agents and talking to scouts and things like that. Um, it's not necessarily what rugby don't see because rugby they do see the talent, uh, they do see, um, they do see the talent. They see what the progression can be for that kid. Um, I just find that NRL scouts are a lot more um, aggressive when it comes to recruiting kids and recruiting players at 15. Like an NRL club, they will recruit a kid at 15 and then hold them and then get them to sign contracts that will take them to like 18. And it's sort of their way of, of locking them into um, their programs and, their, and, and things like that. Um, I can see why they do it. Personally, I don't agree with how they do it or why they do it. I, on the other, because like I have, I have no problems with kids signing with agents. That's okay. You haven't really made any kind of real commitment to anything yet. Signing with an agent, to me, really is nothing. It just means that you're set with an agent. That's about it. He can't really do anything until, um, you know, you get past under 20s, really. Even when you get to like, um, even when you get to signing like with um, NRL clubs at a young age, you don't really need an agent for that. Like you could get your parents to do that if you want. There's no, there's not a lot of like contract uh, negotiations when it comes to those kind of ages. So for me, having that agent, cool. You can sign to an agent whenever you want. That's fine. When it comes to signing to a club or to a team or to a franchise, that's the thing that I personally would hold back at until they're 18 and they've left school. Signing a kid into a club, an NRL club, or to a, a rugby union, 
to me, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. I would say, yep, thank you for your interest. And um, if you want me to work on things throughout, you know, my next few years until I get to 18 and leave school, you know, I'm, I'm welcome to having those kind of um, discussions. But in terms of assigning to somebody, I wouldn't do that. So it's not that the NRL can't see or the, that rugby can't see the talent. It's that the NRL is just a lot more aggressive when it comes to that kind of thing and trying to lock kids down so that they can get them within their systems. That's why you see kids go to Kibro and Palm Beach and St. Mary's and St. Dominic's and, St. and like schools like that over in Australia because uh, they've already signed to like a school then they've brought them over to be closer to the club and to be closer to the camps that they'll have and things like that. You also have kids that, um, and your mates, all of your guys' mates and some of you guys who have gone over to Australia and gone into these camps in the holidays and then not even been... And they're not even signed to those clubs, but you've just gone there to see how it is and see uh, what um, see what their setup is like and see what the 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 attention that they have there for you is and you know things like that. So, I mean, I have no I have no uh, qualms about how a kid wants to go about it that way or a parent wants to go and seek out those kind of things, um, those opportunities. But in terms of rugby not seeing it, uh, they see it. They just don't um, act upon it like an NRL club would. The reason, and, and the way that you know that a, uh, a rugby is seeing your son or seeing um, the talent that they have, they'll give them opportunities to rep teams. That's why I like these under under seventeen programs that um, you know the Hurricanes and Blues and Chiefs are doing is because it's bringing in these. Turning fifteen-year-olds, sixteen and seventeen-year-old kids into these camps, and then it's that's basically them telling the kid, "We see you. We see what you're doing. We see that you got talent. We see that your progression is huge, and that you've worked on your game and things like that." Because we're going to reward you by bringing you into camp and bringing you into our systems, and then helping you develop even more within our systems, and we're showing our dedication like that. So like that's the kind of the, that's kind of the way that um, a rugby union would show that they're still there to support you and that they notice that you're there and they're saying hey we see what you can do you know you're sharp bro that kind of stuff and they're saying you know we will be there for you when you're under 16s and you made your rep teams then you're under 17 development we're going to see you there as well we're going to see you in under 18s and then try and push you through to barbarians and New Zealand secondary schools. That's the way that I see it, and that's the way that I've um, kind of uh, noticed and picked up through doing this, is that that kind of how it works, and that's kind of how these two different codes and their different attitudes and the way that they go around, uh, go about doing things in terms of signing kids and noticing talent and things like that. So, um, not really... There's no real difference in terms of scouting talent. It's just more the, of the aggressive nature and things in which they do it. So um, I hope that answered your question. Uh, we'll have a couple more coming up. And um, yeah, any more questions, please send them through if you want. Um, I'll probably do a couple more if you guys want. But yeah, cool. Peace.